Outdoors RV, and I'm proud to present you our new Million Dollar Baby. Our Backcountry Series has built-in generator, that's the LP generator, Onan. It's got 170 watts of solar on the roof, and it holds 100 gallons of fresh water. Oh my goodness, you can really go the distance. You can go off-grid, off-road, all seasons. We've had many requests to make a shorter bunkhouse model, and this is our new 23 BCS. So now you've got a 23-foot bunkhouse trailer with four distinct beds, big carrying capacities, and things like even a sliding tray. Now you can store things much easier because the generator is on the other side. The backcountry is going to once again give you uh, big capacities. It's going to give you better handling by virtue of the X4 off-road chassis. You'll notice over here we have things like full suspension. We actually use KYB hydraulic over nitrogen shocks to give you active suspension, giving you safer towing and more ground clearance along with that. So you're getting the best of all worlds, all seasons, off-road, off-grid. You can do it all with the Backcountry Series. There's nothing like it in the industry. Come to ET Quality and see it. When people say they want to get off-grid and off-road and so forth, we give you the chassis and suspension and the ground clearance to get there. But once you get to your destination, you need water and you need power. Outdoors answers the call with 100 gallons of fresh water. Even our little 20 footer has 100 gallons of fresh water. But we also do something magic, and that is we're going to give you power. So what we have is the Onan 3.6 or 3600 watt LP generator. So now you've got clean power with more than enough to run your air conditioner, your microwave, hair dryer, run everything right through your LP. And you'll notice these massive tanks in front. We give you extra large propane tanks, so now you're addressing the use of your propane generator. Along with the power, we're also going to give you solar on the roof as standard equipment. So once again, we're dealing with your needs. Power, water, and livability. We give it all in one complete package and all made by us. We are the only company that manufactures our own custom chassis with full suspension. The X-Road Off-Road, there's nothing like it. Now, this is called Armor Guard. Think of it as Rhino Liner on steroids. Extremely rock resistant, and that's why we use it. And look at this generous overlap. This is because rain coming at a 45 degree angle is like a water jet. By doing this, we're preventing that water from getting in. And this was built where rain was invented, Oregon. So we take all that in consideration. Moving around to the front, this is the A-frame. The A-frame is all that's connecting your living unit to your precious cargo. Your precious cargo is inside, that's your family. Our A-frame goes through the main frame rails and not underneath. So I've got up to 72 inches of vertical welds just in the A-frame alone. That's called safety. And we make it ourselves and it's US steel. Looking at the front, basically there's more 4x4s than anything else. Have chains laying in the mud. Our towing, our chains, our safety cable, and our power cord are all stored nice and neat. But now you've got this clearance. And if you'll come down, you'll actually look underneath here and you're going to see we actually weld shut the channels so that mice and bees can't get inside the frame rails, inside the, the body. So this is all sealed off for getting those critters away. This is all know-how from many years of building units that go in the back country. Moving over to our toy lock. This is wonderful for if you leave your vehicle unattended. Now this is hut bolted on. What you want to do is you want to make sure you wrap it around the A-frame and then lock it. But now you're locking up chairs, you're locking up items to secure them when you're not there and it stows away nice and neat. We know there's a better way to make an awning more durable and that is to have a metal weather shield when it rolls up. The problem is when you have a large awning span, the awning bouncing down the road, you can actually bend the end pins. So we elected to add a cradle. So you'll notice as the awning comes in, it's going to start wrapping up in an anodized metal weather shield. And now you've got a travel cradle for safety to keep for long way. I'd like to show you what we feel is the optimum solution for an entrance step. The problem is every move, time you move your RV, the ground changes. That means you have to adjustable steps, legs have to be adjusted. With this, this design, it's extremely lightweight, it's extremely strong, and it doesn't go inside the vehicle. I'll show you something that's ultra functional, and that is the Outdoors RV exclusive mountain dinette. At first, it looks like other ones until you realize how big it is. We stretched it to seven feet, and I'll give you an illustration. 
by adding another foot to the dinette, we added another foot to the table. And this table is extremely rugged. We've got dual marine pedestals, so if someone bumps in the table, a glass of milk doesn't fall over, and who and you will cry over spilt milk. It's still hard to clean up. So now what you've got is you've got this multifunction table that's great for game night, for crafting, with 24% of RVs working out of their RVs. Now this is a workstation, which is extremely valuable. That's all designed into it. But you'll also notice a, a lot of manufacturers are cutting costs by eliminating the drawers underneath. These massive drawers have a travel lock. When this goes in, it goes in lock position, now it stays in. When you unlock it, this all solid hardwood, not wood core like other companies, where it's plastic. This massive drawer has 100 pound door guides, and yes, you've got them on both sides. So now you've got, we call it a horizontal pantry, because these are rated at 100 pounds a piece, rather than 50. So you've got these massive drawers that are strong, and you've got more functionality. And if your grandson is 6'6", when this drops down into a bed, it makes a seven foot bed. So here's a 23 foot bunkhouse with a beautiful 80 inch queen bedroom in front, a seven foot bed here, and two great uh, bunks in back. So four distinct sleeping areas in a 23 foot bunkhouse trailer. I want to call attention to our cathedral ceilings. When you have a flat interior ceiling, what happens is they're called tapered rafters. As you get to the edge, the flat ceiling and roof come together, and you've got almost no insulation at the, around your perimeter. With outdoors RV, our, our rafters are crowned, so the roof and ceiling follow each other. So I've got as much insulation here as I have here. Your air conditioner works better. And your furnace, you get a lot more life out of your, your uh, propane because it retains the heat much better. Truly. All season, off-road, off-grid. That's your outdoors RV is. Now I want to illustrate for you what happens when you truly build for all seasons. Outdoors RV goes the extra mile by not doing one inch walls, inch and a half. We do two inch, just like your half million dollar diesel bushers. I'm gonna demonstrate for you. This is our mountain dinette. And if you look underneath here, what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna to toss these cushions like I was gonna make a bed. And if you'll come right over here, I'm gonna remove one of our seat bases. The big word now beyond recycling is repurposing. So this is actually our sidewall. And this in a former life was that window cutout. Our computerized routers can route within one tenth of an inch. So this was scrap. One of our employees says, you know, this would make a great seat base. It's unbelievably strong, but this is why you get a two year warranty against delamination because this was put together at 8,000 pounds per square inch pressure with catalyst that hardens under pressure. So now you've got a tremendous amount of insulation, but we take it a step further. This two inch insulation, industry's largest, is in the slide out, here, there, even behind the front cap. Mind you, nobody wants a cold head at nighttime. So we actually wrap that two inch insulation clear around the whole vehicle, including behind the front cap. There's nothing like it. While I have this in my hand, if you'll please take notice, when the horizontal pantry goes back in, look at all the storage I have back there. That's a wonderful cubby hole for dry goods, for excess clothing, extra things, and you get it on both sides. So this is a wonderful uh, hidden storage area for, uh, for better travels. I wanted to show you what happens when you make a very functional galley in a short bunkhouse trailer. You'll notice it's a very large counter extension. And with our sink covers, we, this is LG solid surface, so it's very, very durable. This beautiful flush mount, you'll notice the top is semi-buff, but if I turn it over, you'll notice this dull finish. This is with your cutting board. So now you're, you're doing your tomatoes and avocados and so forth, making some really nice salads because you've got a cutting side as well as a finish side. Also, what is a big hit is we had a custom stainless steel strainer made, and so now, this, this is like $42, but it's wonderful because now if your husband drops his coffee cup, he doesn't bang up your sink. So now you can strain your dishes and you're not touching the surface. On top of that, we also, once again, for the prep time, we flush mount our cooktop. You'll notice this all flush, more food prep area. Your knife rack is back here, which is great, whole six knives. And then when this goes out of the way, you've got your three burner, plus a large oven. 
We don't do small ovens, we do large ovens. So that's very, very functional. With every backcountry, we realize you're gonna go the distance. You're gonna be out in remote areas. So that things that go bump in the night, if you heard a funny sound outside of Yosemite, you say, uh oh, what is that? You roll over and you've got your own security system. And out comes your pistol and you say, what's out there?